Taiwan, a place where you can eat out of a toilet or have sushi delivered by race car. It is safe to say that this isn't the normal style of consuming a meal. So we made it our mission to explore this crazy side of Taiwan's eating culture on a quest for the best crazy cafe. First set up in 2004 in Kaohsiung City, the popular modern toilet cafe is spreading all over Taiwan. Me and Josh are gonna go and give it a taste just after I finished this little toilet break. Okay, so the food has arrived. Bit of beef curry in a toilet bowl. Where else but modern toilet cafe? Really nice meat, a little bit fatty. Nice flavor to the curry, three out of five. The presentation here is a bit shitty. Oh. The beef, I'm honest, I think it's a bit of a low quality cut. It's very chewy. Give it a two out of five. There are over 500 different sushi bars in Taipei alone, yet this is one of the most famous ones. Why, you may ask? Because your food isn't delivered to you by a person, but by a car. Now let's go and give it a try. So it was very kind, a little car came and brought us out our Sushi of Wonder. We got a ton of sushi for a very reasonable price, and so now let's give it a try and see how good it tastes. Oh, that's pretty amazing. That is pretty good sushi. It just sort of melts in your mouth in terms of the experience. It's really chill, relaxed, and with a fun little gimmick and great food, I'm gonna give it four out of five. It's actually really, really good. And actually, it's pretty good value as well. I'm gonna stick with Josh and give it four out of five. Prices are crazy. Maybe you the one for me. Oh, uh, hi guys. Uh, as you can see, we're outside the awesome Crazy Cart Cafe in Taiwan. It's got over 50 dishes on the menu and 10 go karts that you can whiz around the cafe as fast as you want. So I have went for spaghetti and meatballs. I mean, there's nothing crazy about it. It's spaghetti and meatballs. It's what you expect. 3.5 out of five. I've gone for some fried chicken wings and a very sweet iced tea. I'm really sorry to be harsh, but there's no flavor in that whatsoever. I'm gonna give it one and a half out of five. I'm not really very impressed to be honest. Mm. 